of course, all great works of literature bear rereading. Um, and Emma is a endlessly rereadable novel because it is so complex and subtle. But it's not just that. Jane Austen with Emma wrote a novel which had to be read at least twice, I think. Um, and that's because it's a novel which compels the reader to share in the many mistakes um, that its protagonist makes. Emma is a clever woman, but she's also a willful self-deluder. And the method of the novel is to make us see those self-delusions or some of them, but also share in others. Emma is an imaginist, an extraordinary word, hardly used um, before this novel was published, and a word that I think Austin thought she was inventing. And it needs to be an extraordinary word because it describes how Emma, particularly in all her schemes about the romantic couplings, the matchmaking um, uh, involving the marriageable characters in the novel, um, leaps to all sorts of assumptions about what other characters are thinking. She's warned about these false assumptions because it's really important that um, it's her fault that she makes these mistakes. So in particular, it's her fault that she assumes that the eligible, uh, smooth mannered, but actually cold hearted vicar, Mr. Elton, uh, might be interested in her protege, Harriet Smith, um, who's a pretty but foolish 17 year old um, who is a pupil at the local school and who is a very uncertain parentage. And she should know, Emma, that Mr Elton would be rather more ambitious about his likely spouse. But anyway, she doesn't. And she told Mr Knightley, um, her closest counsellor says um, that if, if Emma's set her sights on Mr Elton for, for Harriet, I think it will be all labour in vain. He tells her that he's heard how Mr Elton speaks when only men are present and he he may speak sentimentally to women, but he will act rationally. He is a, a calculating person, but Emma won't listen. Um, and we may see from the first that she's making a mistake here, but uh, Austin's really doing something really clever because by allowing the reader to congratulate him or herself on seeing this particular um, error, she smuggles in all sorts of other errors that Emma is making about uh, the other characters in the book. And some of those on a first reading, you won't get. <laughs> so then the pleasure of rereading Emma is the pleasure of seeing all those clues that were there that you could have seized upon, but because you were so involved in the perceptions of Emma Woodhouse, the heroine, the exasperating but absorbing heroine, you didn't see. So you have to read the book again.